What makes philosophy special? How is philosophy different from other ways of thinking? What are other ways of thinking with which we could compare philosophy? Throughout this course, and also outside of it, I often speak about science. All sciences can be seen, and I certainly see them as part of philosophy, just specialized to seeking knowledge about some specific type of thing. Philosophy includes them, connects them, and also deals with personal matters that are not scientific. Philosophy is much broader in scope than science, but because it encompasses the sciences, it cannot really be compared with them as uh, a separate way of thinking beyond what I have just said. At some bookstores, philosophy is unfortunately often used as a general category where all sorts of religious books, new agey nonsense, uh, other occult rubbish, self-help books, and all kinds of pseudo-scientific books are mixed with a smaller percentage of actual philosophical books. Of course, in higher quality bookstores, they actually can distinguish between these categories and keep the rest out of the philosophy section. But that is only the better bookstores. Pseudoscience is one of those other ways of thinking that often get lumped together with uh, philosophy. Uh, I will return to it when discussing the philosophy of science, but here I will just simply say that it differs from uh, philosophy in uh, that it uh, fails to be science, basically. Uh, in that it fails to be honest truth-seeking, so it fails to be philosophy. The same goes for the occult as well, but that is closer to religion, uh, especially in that occultists tend to have a more religious, reverent and dogmatic attitude toward their occult ideas, and those ideas are often closely connected to more popular religious ideas. Uh, religious ideas uh, can be similar uh, to the ideas discussed by philosophers, partly because of historical reasons and partly because in both cases the ideas are something humans have been thinking about and inventing throughout history. But what, in my opinion at least, is the defining feature of religion is also what makes it uh, clearly uh, different from philosophy. Uh, religions are about believing things and practicing rituals. They are conservative and usually traditional. Philosophy, from its inception, was opposed to that, as philosophers discarded everything except the use of reason. The natural philosophers of ancient Greece tried to actually explain natural phenomena and to understand what the world was really like. Their explanations may seem silly now, but only because of the scientific knowledge we now have. Some of their ideas, such as atomism, are not even that silly, even now. What is important is not what they thought, but how they thought. They talked with people from all over the known world, and because of the trade routes, they got into contact with ideas from faraway places. They realized that old myths, traditions, and even uh, uh, what people thought of as common knowledge are not to be trusted, nor are any other old ways of thinking. To try and get to the truth of how the world works and what it is even really like, they had to study the world and to use proper reasoning. Often philosophers have trusted their own ability to reason even too much, but that's another story. The point is, they have tried to use their own brains, analyzing the arguments for and against different views, discarding so-called authorities and prevailing uh, beliefs. Philosophers seek the truth 
uh, not just hold on to beliefs. Uh, we can uh, speak of a tradition of philosophy, but unlike other traditions, the tradition of philosophy has always been about inventing new ideas, new arguments, while overturning old beliefs and theories in pursuit of the truth. That is the core of philosophy, and that is what makes it special.